Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Gregolowski from ForexLive.com. I'm going to take a look at the, two of the Swiss uh, pairs, major pairs, the dollar versus uh, uh, Swiss franc and also the euro versus Swiss franc. So let's get started. I'm going to take a uh, look at the uh, four-hour chart of the dollar versus uh, Swiss franc. And uh, the, the key level that uh, we broke through last week was the uh, getting above the 38.2% retracement. That is of the move down from the July high. You can't see it. Uh, it's a July 3rd high, I think, going back over here, uh, imagine that, uh, uh, to the low price that we saw in uh, September right here. And that 38.2% uh, retracement comes in at 0 0.86318. In trading last week, we tried to move above it through the first half of the week and then finally broke above that level. We did come down and uh, retest that level right here, uh, falling a little bit below it before bouncing back to the upside. And as you can see in trading here today in the Asian session, and again more recently, uh, we've come back down to that 38.2% retracement found willing buyers against a level at least a little bit. Uh, if the price uh, were to break below that 38.2% retracement, we'd then look toward this uh, swing area through here, which has a number of different uh, swing lows right here, which then turned into resistance here, 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 and here. Uh, we moved above it in trading uh, last week and used that level as a support to base to the upside. So the uh, 0 0.8607 to 0 0.8619 will be the next target to get to and through. If we get below that, we'll look toward the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart uh, down here down below. Uh, I'm sure the 100 hour moving average uh, or the uh, two, uh, 200 hour moving average also in play. Uh, uh, so I'll uh, be aware of those levels. But right now, as long as we can hold the 38.2% retracement, the bias remains more to the upside. Uh, if, if it uh, does, is able to do that, then we look toward the high prices that we saw in last week's trading, probably around the around the 70-ish type level, get above the 70 level, and we start to look toward the 100-day moving average. Let's uh, take a look at the Euro-Swiss next. And again, I'm going to focus on the hourly uh, four-hour chart. And uh, when I uh, look at this uh, pair, well, I see a lot of tries above the 100 uh, bar moving average on the four-hour chart here, 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 here uh, in trading here today. Also, uh, the uh, 200 uh, bar moving average is uh, in play as well. That's a green line in this chart. We moved a little bit above it on Friday. And again, uh, a little bit in, looks like in the early Asian session, we moved above it. But most of the, for the most part, we've been able to hold resistance uh, against these moving average levels. And so going forward, what we're going to need is uh, to get above them in order to increase the bullish bias. And, uh, but uh, we see the rotation back to the downside. Now, speaking of the downside, we do also have this uh, trend line. This trend line connects to the low to a low to a uh, little move low here. And then uh, in trading last week, we uh, dipped dip just briefly below that level. Uh, but held the 61.8% retracement of this move to the upside. So uh, th that was a successful test of support rotated to the downside. So going forward in trading here today, if the price is going to go lower, we need to get below that trend line, we need to get below the 61.8% uh, retracement to increase the bearish bias, perhaps that. And we're still battling it out between the 100 and 200 hour uh, bar moving averages above and the trend line and the 61.8% retracement below. So that's uh, my look at uh, the dollar versus Swiss and the euro versus Swiss from a technical perspective to kickstart your trading week. My name is Greg Mikulski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.